What's up YouTube? My name is Matt, this is a 10 year old CPU, and today we're going to find out if you can game on it. So this is a 10 year old CPU, and today we're going to be finding out with the help of a relatively modern graphics card, you can game on it. So this CPU is an Intel Core 2 Extreme QX6700. I picked this one up for around $30 on eBay, which is a pretty typical price for an auction, or you can buy it now in many listings for around $40. This was the first Intel consumer quad-core processor. This is on the Intel LGA775 platform and was the best consumer CPU you could buy at the time, retailing for $1,000. This is basically the 5960X of 2006, which is funny to think about because it's more than likely you'll be able to pick up a 5960X in a decade for around $30 on eBay. Now for its time, the CPU was absolutely amazing. It's a quad-core CPU clocked at 2.66 GHz with an unlocked multiplier and an incredibly high TDP of 140 watts. Now looking at a graphics card from 2006, the best GPU money could buy was an NVIDIA GeForce 7950 GX2. This was a dual GPU card which literally can run zero modern games. So then you may be asking yourself, well if the best GPU of 2006 can't run any games, then why would the best CPU of 2006 be able to run games? Well for a couple of reasons. The first is the GPU performance has increased at such a rapid pace since that time that even the relatively quickly improving CPU performance fails in comparison. And the second reason, the reason I thought about doing this test originally was because the 8 year old Core 2 Quad in my $100 gaming PC, which I'll link in the description down below, played games really well. So I wanted to see if this decade old CPU could run games too, and if it could, how well could it run them. So I decided to pop it into the $100 gaming PC and keep everything else the same except for the cooler. Because this is such a power hungry chip, I employed the help of a Hyper 212 Evo to see if it could both adequately cool the CPU and maybe overclock it. After doing a bunch of research and following some tutorials I found online, I was able to overclock the QX6700 to a modest 3 GHz. Now this isn't a crazy overclock or anything, but I just wanted to play it safe. So I'm going to compare the benchmarking results of this CPU to the 8 year old Core 2 Quad Q8200 to show you the performance differences, and spoiler alert, the CPU outperforms the Q8200 in every game. So let's get into the benchmarks. Starting with GTA 5, a very CPU intensive game, at 1080p low settings, the QX6700 saw an almost 20% increase in FPS from the Q8200 providing a very playable 41 FPS average. Once again, I'd like to reiterate from previous videos that the HD7850 used only is one gigabyte of VRAM, so this kept this, so this kept me from being able to increase the graphical settings anywhere beyond low. Moving on to the second game I benchmarked, which is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, this didn't seem to scale to much higher FPS, with the QX6700 providing 60.4 FPS average at the 1080p medium preset, which is just 2 FPS above the Q8200. The final game tested was Metro Last Light Redux, which scaled fairly well, showing an increase of around 4 FPS average, going from 38 to 42 FPS average at the 1080p medium preset. So as you can see, you can definitely game on this CPU, and you can game fairly well. Now I wouldn't go pairing the CPU with a GTX 1080 or anything, but pairing it with something like a GTX 750 Ti or an HD 7850 like the one used in these tests can provide you with a very decent gaming experience even at 1080p. With all this being said, this kind of shows that we've made so many improvements in terms of GPUs, but because of lack of competition, there hasn't been as much improvement in CPU performance over the years. Hopefully with the upcoming release of AMD's Zen processors, they'll be able to shake up the market enough to be a catalyst for improvements and innovations. So conclusion time. Yes, you can game on a 10 year old CPU and you can game at 1080p playing fairly recent AAA titles. So yeah guys, this was just a fun little test I wanted to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I certainly enjoyed making it. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if this is the first video of mine you're seeing and you want to see my future uploads, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I have a lot of great PC gaming hardware videos coming up that you definitely don't want to miss out on. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.